Uh, that was non-competitive the entire way, but it was significant for the Gunners, Robbie. Mm. Uh, what stood out the most from start to finish of what um, we just saw? Well, I, I think just on, on a whole, I don't think I've ever seen a game in the Premier League that's been so one-sided with 11 v 11. Uh, you know, I know there was only one goal scored by us in the second half, but in general, such a, a one-sided game, which I haven't seen. Um, that being said, Arsenal's precision football. That, it was stunning, first half. And, and Sheffield United were better, fair play in the second half. There's some of that football to pick their way through some of those lines and create those opportunities and score those goals. Ruthless finishing, but just intricate, creative, talented players that enjoyed themselves. And we saw that. Arsenal in such a good spot right now mm. in terms of everything that that was just a culmination of how they're feeling and how they're playing. It was an expected win, but mm. your top takeaway. Mentality. It's... Um, the, the... There was a clip, and I think it was probably about six minutes before the game ends. Obviously, Arsenal, they're cruising, they're 6-0 up. And I think it might have been Jesus. The ball's gone out for a goal kick. And you can see in the background, Odegaard, he's demanding, get back into your shape. They're 6-0 up. And that, for me, is a big difference. I think the Arsenal team last season, a lot of, a lot of people saw it as a bit of a surprise that they were where they were. Then I think they pressured it all. They did get injuries. But all these players, because it's a relatively young team, they're a year wiser, they have a year more experience, and they just seem to have gone up another level as well. And, you know, OK, Sheffield United didn't offer much resistance right. today, but it was the way that they went about it, just clinical. Goal difference for Arsenal or the rest they got, some of those players as the biggest thing that came out of it? Uh, well, it's like a four-point victory, that was. Three points for the win, and it's like an extra point given the advantage now they've got over Liverpool and Man City mm -hmm. with the goal difference. That it just that just means something. I'm not sure the other teams are going to smash enough teams in, in a short period of time with 11 games to make that up again. So that goal difference of plus 45, Man City's plus 35, same games played. That means something. And it might mean that Liverpool and Manchester City, as a stretch goes on, they have to take more risk than this Arsenal team do because of the goal difference. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.